Sun Stadium for the home team we've got the Sailor. They'll be defending against the Sentinel. I'm Dan Stevens, and across from me is Peter O'Keefe. Let's take a look at today's all-pro lineups, Peter. Steve Barkowski and Marty Lyons get it done for the Sentinels. Greatness on both sides of the ball, Dan. These two guys bring out the best in everyone around them. You want these kind of guys on your team, they win the day for you. They'll have their hands full with a top-notch opponent. Archie Manning and Mel Renfro personify greatness for the Sailors. Simply put, Dan, these are some of the best players ever assembled on one team. Just look at the rest of them. Each one is a star in his own right. Okay, Peter, here's the coin toss. How you been? Good to see you again. The set notes. We'll make the selection. What is the call? Tails. Tails it is. We want the ball. The set notes have won the toss and select to receive. Jager boots it downfield, and we're underway. Williamson decides to take it out of the end zone. Tackle at the 20. The Sentinels will start this drive at their own 20-yard line. Parker game and will gain close to six. Parker played smart and used his blockers to perfection on that last play. They move the ball and it will be second down. Stingy defense didn't give up much at all on that last play. Not much there, but they'll get another shot on third and short. Eyes front. We're using doubles. 50Z. Tight end. Cross. Ready. Break. on the play clock. No good. Incomplete. That will bring up fourth down. Barkowski had a lot of pressure to contend with there. He got the pass off, but it wasn't quite locked in. Boy, that's a tough situation to make a good throw. Third and short, and they just can't get the completion. Why didn't they go with the run, Peter? Well, I would have, but I'm not the coach. He's obviously got other plans. It'll be fourth down. Minardi lines up the punt after the three and out. Minardi takes the long snap and punts it away. Renfro fields the punt at the 39. Dragged down at the 41. No, Renfro didn't get very far running that ball back, but on the bright side, the kick was pretty lackluster, so his offense gets pretty good field position anyway. The Sailors will start the drive at their 41-yard line. will bring up second down. All right, 
Big play. Let's do it again. Oh, yeah. I hope they come at us the same way. Great. Second and ten. Gets the toss and runs into traffic. What is the beat? Eventually pushed out of bounds at the 49. It looks like we have an injury down on the field. As soon as we hear anything, we'll be sure to pass the information along to you. Marty Lyons is the one who's hurt, and I've been there before. It is not pleasant, Dan. from the eye. Hole in the defense. Let's look at this again because this is what you need out of your passer. Oh, he sees the opportunity and drives the ball home. It was third and long, but it didn't phase them. They moved the ball and now they move the chain. Yeah, really nice play calling, Dan. Party going here after hauling this one in. Well, Danny shows great hands and a little wiggle at the end of the play. Tough guy to bring down. He did a good job getting his hands around the football, and then he just took off with it. Yeah, he's not running any tricky patterns, but can pick up the extra yardage when he needs to. That's a great drive or what? Snell will get the carry on first down and barely picks up the first down. And they eat up some major yards on that run. This is a well-prepared rushing game. Well, Peter credit his speed coupled with the great blocking that he got and that ensured he had room to run. They are the total package.
the catch on the right sideline and tries to get free, but out of bounds at the nine. Matt Snell saw an opportunity to tack on a few more after the completion and took advantage. Coaches love to see that kind of drive and intensity. Nice gain, and that puts them in a very convertible third down situation. Yeah, you know, Dan, my last convertible was a 72 Nova. You know, Peter, it's no wonder you were a lineman. Nice gain on this baby. Look at him eat up the yardage here. A nice gain, and they easily convert on third down. Yeah, that was a good call. First down, and they line up for their 11th play of the drive. Dan, we got a good fullback in there. He may run it himself or be a decoy. And watch this play unfold. These guys are so talented. It's really just amazing to sit back and watch them take care of business. Oh, and I'll tell you what. He takes care of business throughout this play. Makes me want to hit the gym again and maybe, you know, get back down there on the field. point and it's good Williamson fields it way back at the one. Drop down at the 20. Victor Williamson tried to run it out, but the defense preferred that he stayed put, and they made their case pretty forcefully there. to six. Lions had to leave the field earlier in the game and now we've gotten word on his condition. Peter? Our producer's got a quick word with the trainers that they said he's got a pulled stomach muscle. They are icing the injury in an effort to ease the pain, but it doesn't seem to be that effective. The official word on his return? Doubtful. Thanks, Peter. First down and a whole lot more. First down, Sentinels. Golik shakes his opponent at the line and beats him on a quick pattern. They just couldn't cover him man up, plain and simple. Yeah, great catch and execution. A beautiful pickup, Peter. Everyone on the offense is happy about that play. Definitely. Great call by the offensive coordinator. Oh, 
48. Parker stayed with his blockers on that last one, and it paid off big time. You know, Dan, it's always good to have a wingman or two. Peter, what a nice pickup to get them into a second and short situation. Yeah, great play, and now they have a bunch of options on what to try next. Second down, two yards to go. Goes in motion. Chews up four yards, and that brings up first down. We have a flag on the plate. Let's listen to the call. Holding, number 83. Jones clearly held his man back there. Offensive holding was the right call. Here we go, guys. Triple 50X, opposite flow. Let's do it. Break. The Sentinels want to talk it over and they take their first time out. Victor Williamson does everything he can here to find an opening for the quarterback to throw into, but no dice. That looked like it could have been completed. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose with that dunk. Second drop pass. Well, Dan, his inconsistency makes the coach very nervous, I can tell you that. Turn it on, baby. Let's get this ball back. The first on third and long. First down, Sentinel. Sims is all by himself and he'll take advantage of it. Easy catch. Third and long, and they get the big play to convert. What do you think of that, Peter? I love it. That's what football is all about making the big plays when you need to, and you can't coach that. First Let's keep doing ten. what we're doing. The Sailor, 36 yards. And heads out right, brought down at the 32. And that'll do it for quarter number one. The Sailors are out in front, seven to nothing. Seven.
the first down and a whole lot more. Wait a minute. We have a flag down on the plate. Let's get the call from the field. Pass interference. Number 54. The penalty is the penalty. smart and used his blockers to perfection on that last play. They move the ball and it will be second down. This is a great run, Dan. Look at the yards he chews up. Peter, he had a great jump off the line. He was in fifth gear before the defense could even react. Motored for some easy yards. Peter, that will put a touchdown in his stat column. And that's always nice to have, Dan. So far, he's got 35 yards and one touchdown. point and it's good Kickoff kicks it off. Renfro fields the kickoff at the 11. Locked down at the 31. Now Renfro, a few yards off the run back there. Add that to the somewhat shallow kick, and that's a pretty good job by the special teams. The Sailors had an effective first drive, and we'll see if they can keep it up. They'll start at their 31-yard line. Manning throws this on a road, and he connects for a pickup of four on the play. Archie Manning threw a tremendous cross-field beauty to find his man. That is the definition of arm strength. He is just gunslinging it now. This groove has led to an impressive string of completion. Yeah, he's got to keep thinking one pass at a time, Dan, and stay zeroed in. It only takes one bad shot to break a streak. Snell used the blocking, but this stingy defense didn't give up much at all on that last play. Not a lot of room on that play. It will be third down.
First down, tight end to the left. is at the 45. Tackled at the 49. Matt Snell fights for every inch of turf he can get. Watch here as he makes the catch. Right there, and then he runs for a few more. Classic overachiever, not unlike myself. Uh-huh. Time and time again, he makes a fantastic option of himself coming out of the backfield. Well, there are some runners that just have a knack for the passing game, and this guy's got it. Second and two. turned around. the first down line. Yeah, he knew what he needed to do, and he done did it. How eloquently put. Thank you. First down with the tight end right. Manning throws a heater right sideline, and this one is incomplete. Sean Smith looked like he was all over that one, but it just got away somehow. Tough incompletion. Potential for some nice yards, but it falls incomplete. That will bring up second down. Go time. Second and ten. This pass will fall harmlessly to the ground, and it's incomplete. Joey Holt was all thumbs. That one bounced right out of the mitt. That may be a bigger incompletion than it looks. You're right, Dan. A shorter third down is an easier third down. Instead, they will stay put and have to take another shot. marker on the play. Let's get the call from the field. Holding. Number 65. Offense. The penalty is declined. The complete pass. Stanley gets ready to punt it away. Stanley takes the long snap and punts it away. Squirrelly on him for a touchback. <laughs> Tough luck.
blocks on the play, and that brings up second down. Parker can thank his blockers for that last play. If it wasn't for them, that play would have tanked. They move the ball, and it will be second down. man from getting back to the line. Let's watch. Pow! Oh, that's got to hurt. That's his second tackle so far. Third down from the shotgun. Let's it go the distance here, and it's incomplete. Golik muffs an almost guaranteed catch there. I imagine he's going to hear about that one when he gets back to the huddle. Well, if I know him, a few choice words from the quarterback are nothing compared to the chewing out he's given himself. Peter, in third down situations, they have not been successful at all with the pass. This play was more proof. Boy, third is such a crucial down, Dan. And when you don't convert, it really hurts. Zanardi gets the ball and punts it away. Renfro hauls it in at the 32. Stopped at the 41. No Renfro returned for a few there, but after that gigantic punt, it was like tearing a single page out of War and Peace. It doesn't make much of a dent. The Sailors had their last drive stalled at the tail end. We'll see if they can keep momentum throughout this one, which starts at their 41-yard line. Manning takes the pass and it's tipped incomplete. Jeff Howard anticipated the trajectory of that pass and stuck his hand in at the last moment. Great play. The defense stood up to that play and shuts down what would be a minimal gain anyway. It'll be second down. Let's go! Second and ten. Your yards on that run. This is a well-prepared rushing game. Well, Peter credit his speed coupled with the great blocking that he got and that ensured he had room to run. They are the total package. A well-designed play there, Peter, and they will move the chain. Great execution. Let's listen to the call. Holding, number 21. Jeff Howard got a little worked up trying to contain his man on that one and ended up holding. That was a good call by the official. Anderson picks up 11 on the play, and that brings up first 
Otis Anderson finds the hole on this one and gains some good yardage. Wow, great blocking on that play. A well-designed play there, Peter, and they will move the chains. And let me tell you, Dan, hearing those chains move is one of the best sounds in the game for an offense. First down, three wideouts in the game. The 38. You gotta want it like I want it, huh? For a loss of six yards on the play. Two minute warning. Let's give him no chance for three here, all right? Tasker takes his foot to the sideline and that's a game of seven on the play. Steve Tasker had nobody on him. The quarterback saw it and got the ball to him. He just couldn't get cranked up coming out of the tunnel, waiting until the second quarter to make his first pass. And you know, that's a big confidence builder, Dan. Now he should be able to settle into his game and contribute. The Sentinels will take a timeout. That's their second. Bet you weren't expecting to see me back here, were you? Takes the snap and punts it away. Let the punt bounce for a touchback. Gary Stanley saw his kick go squirrely on him for a touchback. <laughs> Tough luck. The Sentinels could take the lead going into the locker room as their offense will start at their own 20-yard line. Bartkowski zips it to the left sideline and it's incomplete. Curtis Walker had that ball in his hands on that play and he just dropped it. Potential for a quick first down, but no, they cannot hook up the pass. You can take a shot in that situation and it's really not going to hurt you. That's a good call. That'll bring up second down. Second oh. down and four wideouts in the game. First down and a whole lot more. Phil Jones eventually gets there, but I don't know why he even bothered. Big gain and they'll move the chains. Well, he eventually... The replay booth will review the previous play, whether the pass was caught in bounds. Dan, when we check out the replay here, we should be able to see if the catch was made prior to going out of bounds.
After review, the play stands. The pass was complete. The catch was made prior to going out of bounds. First down. No worries, the yards. Barkowski unports this to the left sideline, and it's tipped incomplete. Mel Renfro came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. That had potential for some yards, Peter, but the defense was on top of it and shut it down. Good denial there. Second down coming up. Let's go! always a lot of talk about impact players on the offensive side of the ball, but let me tell you something. Mel Renfro is an impact player as a pass defender. This guy is a difference maker, as we saw right there. Markowski throws it to the left sideline, and it's caught at the 31, taken, tackled, and the clock will continue to run. It'll be first and goal. First down, Sentinels. Our passing game is working, baby. Work! Come on, fellas. Let's keep them out of the end zone. Well, they both pass and run are viable, but I wonder if we'll see the quarterback sneak here. Parker gets the toss and gets the touchdown. That drive qualifies as the stride, ridiculously long-lasting drive of the game. The Sentinels consistently moved the football well throughout that drive and punched it in at the end. Great job by the offense. Number three is back to the point after. Minardi will hold the kick. Now the point after, and it's good. minute game. We're in this to the end. That's right. We don't need to panic, fellas. Politnikov sends it downfield. Renfro catches it back at the one. Great Stop at the 28. Mel Renfro received that nice kick and a nice little run back after the catch. Good job. The 
The Sailors take the field with the clock at 29. Throws this one right sideline, and it's tipped. Incomplete. Jeff Howard came in and got a hand on that football. Left no chance for a reception there. That had potential for some yards, Peter, but the defense was on top of it and shut it down. Good denial there. Second down coming up. Second down, two wideouts on the field. Reggie Matthews gets a hand on this one. Right there. That's how you play D. On second down, they try for the first, but it's played well by the defense. That will bring up third down. Nice pressure that time. Third down. The clock is stopped at 19. hands on that play and then he just dropped it wow you don't see that very often his first drop of the game well Dan usually he's Mr. Dependable out there and you have to wonder if he heard some footsteps how about blocking this thing come on let's swarm this guy all right Gets the ball and punts it away. Walker fields the punt with the 33. Packard at the 35. Curtis Walker didn't have much room to work with back there. The special team squad made sure he couldn't respond to that really nice punt. Markowski takes a knee and the clock will tick down. And that'll do it for the first half of this one. The Sentinels are out in front 14 to 7. Okay, Dan, let's get this halftime show started. What do you have for us? A look at our halftime stats here, and boy, look at the difference in passing yards. The Sentinels should be way ahead on the scoreboard, but somehow they've let their opponents hang in there with them. Let's see if they can change things in the second half. We'll pick up the action midway through the first quarter. Snell was able to make things pay off on the ground. Touchdown for the home team. The Sailors get the first points of the game and go up by seven. The Sentinels, now in the second quarter, already inside field goal range. Number 34 was able to make things pay off on the ground. A five-yard touchdown for the visitors. Late into the second quarter, game tied, seven all. Williamson was definitely a key player as he was able to work his way open for a big one here. And that's how we'll round this one out. The Sailors are down but still in it, 14 to seven. Excellent job, Dan. The Sailors will receive to start the second half and this is a tight contest. Currently they're down 14 to seven. Let's get down to the field and the action.
Blitnikov kicks it, and the second half is underway. Renfro fields the second half kickoff at the one. <laughs> to 24. Now Renfro is able to find some weak spots in the defense. Got a good run back off that kick. The Sailors, they have taken the field and they've been having a tough time passing the ball. They have another opportunity here as we start at their own 24-yard line. <laughs> Snell gets the call on first down and runs into traffic. Howard tackles him for a short loss. Jeff Howard would not be denied and dropped him for a huge loss. Big play. That's his third tackle of the game. Big stop, baby. Great tackle. Oh, yeah. I'm feeling good now. Let's go. Snell hauls it in right side. He's looking for room. At the 33. Matt Snell shows great ability to run after the catch on this one. He does seem to have the natural burst that scouts are always looking for. Yeah, look at him separate from the defender. Y you can't coach that. Bro. He did a good job getting his hands around the football, and then he just took off with it. Yeah, he's not running any tricky patterns, but can pick up the extra yardage when he needs to. Snell gets the toss and runs into traffic. Matt Snell smacks the defense around pretty good on the way to a big game. A great charge, Peter. Honestly, I tell you, he could give this defense pointers on playing physical football. Yeah, because that's just what you want from the guy who has just spread you out like cream cheese on a bagel. Free advice. A big run there. And, you know, that's the first time he's really broken out all game, Peter. He was definitely held in check in the first half. Yeah, but he's busted loose in... Archie Manning has obviously got the arm to get the job done in tight spaces. He's been on point with the short pass so far, Dan. That pattern's worked so well, we're probably going to see it over and over again. Well, why not, Peter? His receivers are open and making grabs, and nobody has really stopped him from doing it. Manning fires a switch over the middle, and somehow the receiver holds onto the ball for the first down. John Smith shakes his opponent at the line and beats him on a quick pattern. They just couldn't cover him man up, plain and simple. Yeah, great catch and execution. Well, you know, this is just not working. He made a good play on the ball, but for what? This team is always throwing short. Problem is, they're not picking up any significant yardage after the pass. Exactly. Exactly. 
Matt Snow had blockers on his side on that last play, but the defense was too smart. It gave him nowhere to go. Not a lot of room. Second down. scrimmage for a negligible gain on the play. Otis Anderson used the blocking, but this stingy defense didn't give up much at all on that last play. Not a lot of room on that play. It will be third down. We cannot let them punch this in. Ah, oh, they ain't gonna be able to sniff the goal line here. Hey! They simply wallop just shy of the markers. That will bring up fourth and goal. Fourth down and the field goal unit is on the field. Roll. And this high snap perfectly sets up the ball. There's the kick, and it's good. Three points. For the first time today, they leave the red zone with only a field goal to show for it. You know, overall, Dan, the defense has to be happy with how that one played out. Jager boots the heck out of this one. Williamson is coming out with it. Stop at the 20. Victor Williamson got out close to the 20 on that one, so his decision to take it out of the end zone didn't really pay off, but it didn't really hurt him either. The Sentinels bring their offense on the field and will start this drive at their own 20-yard line. Parker takes his 10th carry of the game and is the line, brought down at the 27. Parker played smart and used his blockers to perfection on that last play. They move the ball and it will be second down. Brings up first down. Nice gain on this baby. Look at him eat up the yardage here. Nice second down call, and they will move the chain. On offense, it was always a plus to avoid third down altogether, just like that. First down from the eye. Ends up field, stopped at the 43. and 
that brings up first down. Yeah, baby. I'm on fire. Woo! Second down, seven yards to go. Markowski could not have thrown this ball without the big boys up front handling their business. Oh, I mean, the O-line is really pulling its weight here, Dan. How much time does this guy have? Peter, that's his first touchdown pass of the game. How do his stats look? Well, so far, he's got 176 yards and one touchdown. point and it's good. Boots it away. No run for it. the ball in the end zone and had a big run out of it. Saying no to the touchback was a risk, Dan, but it paid off. The Sailors came away with three last time out and are looking for more. They'll start this drive at their own 27-yard line. Anderson takes his 10th carry of the game. Stop at the 46. A gobble of a 20 yards on this play. This is a formidable rushing game, Dan. A big run there. And, you know, that's the first time he's really broken out all game, Peter. He was definitely held in check in the first half. Yeah, but he's busted loose in a major way. Let's make sure we keep my field going here. Stay up. Darren Bush makes a nice stop in the backfield here, throwing his man into the turf behind the line. I guess the ball carrier's travel plans were canceled. Oh, he's not going anywhere. Ow, you're down. Nice 
tackle. That will be his fourth tackle of the contest. Watch the blitz! Play. The blitz! Let's it go to the right side. And it's complete at the 41. Eventually tackled at the 35. First down. Archie Manning brings this one perfectly. Great pass, great catch, great play. Let's have another look. Bullseye, what a precise throw. They keep doing plays like this, <laughs> they could be in big trouble. Nice pass, Peter, and he's really lighting up the stat sheet. Oh, you got it. So far, he's got 93 yards and no interceptions. First down, 10 yards to go. on the play and that brings up first down and that'll do it for the third quarter the sentinels enjoying a lead 21 to 10 Some blocking. Well, I guess the defense had their number. Not much there. It'll be second down. Got to take what you can get, Dan, but they were, you know, hoping for more. Let's take a look. Oh, that's a great catch. That guy has real skills. But, you know, this is just not working. He made a good play on the ball, but for what? This team is always throwing short. Problem is, they're not picking up any significant yardage after the catch. Exactly. Got good running potential out here, Dan. Let's see how they use their backs. Watch this play unfold. These guys are so talented. It's really just amazing to sit back and watch them take care of business. Oh, and I'll tell you what. He takes care of business throughout this play. Makes me want to hit the gym again and maybe, you know, get back down there on the field. point and it's good. Downs it for a touchback.
Brings it upfield. Stopped at the 28. Parker took advantage of some really good blocking there on that last run. When you get the initial surge like that, good things happen, especially in the ground game. Peter, what a nice pickup to get them into a second and short situation. Yeah, great play, and now they have a bunch of options on what to try next. Brings up first down. No, 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 not today. No, sir. Bryce Paul just pushes him back in time on this one. Big loss, great defensive play. Watch. Oh, it's all about pursuing your man. You got to stay with him, and he did just that to get the tackle. That's his third tackle of the game. Everybody ready? It's going to be pair slots, P-A-Z, quick slant. Oh. Second down, two receivers to the left. Five on the play clock. Barkowski makes the throw after the play action fake, and it's tipped incomplete. Nick Cole makes a play on the ball here that's definitely worth another look. Yes, excellent anticipation on that incoming missile. On second down, they try for the first, but it's played well by the defense. That will bring up third down. Nice pressure. squeezed by two defenders on this play but still comes up with the ball oh that's pure skill you can't coach that he has definitely made his presence downfield today that's his third rabbit out of the hat yep coverage you simply cannot allow him to abuse you that way
Second down, just a single receiver on the field. with the play folded quicker than an over-caffeinated origami artist. Not a lot of room on that play. It will be third down. Just a basic little pickup is all we need. Then let's get that first. Bartkowski lobs this one a bit and it's tipped incomplete. That will bring up fourth down. Kelly Simmons read that one right out of the receiver's break and denied it. That's the second time he slapped that ball out of there. Excellent read and reaction skills make him a nightmare to try and get the ball passed. Minardi gets ready to punt it away. the snap and aims this one out of bounds. This will fly out of bounds at the 18. Terrell Minardi did a good job angling the punt out of bounds so the offense will start off stuck inside the 20. The Sailors got into the end zone last time they had it and they're looking to do it again. They'll start at their own 19 yard line. quarterback who doesn't feel he has to force the issue. Yeah, he made a good, quick decision to fire the football right in there. And Dan, in his mind, nothing was going to stop him from completing that pass, unless, of course, it was intercepted. Again, he uses the middle of the field right. to advance the football. And uh -huh. Dan, why not? Well, they, they found some seams, some crease right in the middle, and now they feel they can take advantage of it at any time. Anderson carries it off right tackle and gets the first and move. 15, 25, 15, 5, touchdown. Incredible run there. He's got great blocking, and that allows him to just pour it on for a monster game. That was his second rushing touchdown of the day. Not a bad day at the office so far. That's typical production for him, Dan. He's that kind of player. This one. 
Williamson pounds it in the end zone for a touchback. Second down with the tight end right. Simmons of the tackle. Parker chews up nine yards, and that brings up first down. Nice gain on this baby. Look at him eat up the yardage here. A well-designed play there, Peter, and they will move the chain. Great execution. the catch and then takes it for a great run here now he's got it if you give him the room he'll be happy to take it from you that's yet another downfield shot to the same location and this guy really has a feel for adjusting to the deep ball y you can't coach that Second down, two tight ends in the game. Parker on second down, and he's stuck. The clock continues to run. Nice gain on this baby. Look at him eat up the yardage here. Peter, while he's used to being in the end zone, this is a great day even for him. I love it. What a player. Here's the extra point, and it's good.
Blitnikov tends it downfield. Renfro fields the kickoff at the one. The 27. The Sailors start this drive of the game from well in their own territory and the clock at 45. <laughs> Snell snags the right sideline and that will stop the clock at 40. Everything that we've been doing has prepared for this moment. Go Manning throws a heater sideline. The receptions of the Sailors take their first time off. Third down and less than a yard. Anderson makes up the catch on the left side. The Sailors will take a timeout. That's their second. Did you see that? This place gonna define us. Everybody understand? Steve Tasker has this one in his hands and then oh, drops it. They had the right idea there, going for it, trying to put the ball in the end zone, but they couldn't convert. It was the right time to roll the dice, Dan, but this time the house wins and they turn it over. They've already won it, Dan. If they sit on the ball, the clock will tick away and end it. That last time up the D has doesn't really amount to anything. Markowski takes a knee and the clock will tick down. That last play wasted enough time to allow them to run out the clock now. All they need to do is sit on it and this game is in the bag. And that is going to do it for this one. The Sentinels come out on top 28 to 24. With this one in the books, let's take a look back at some of the action. That was an exciting game. So let's not waste any time in getting to the highlights 
in our post-game show. Let's get started in this one early in the third quarter. Snell got the call on third down and it paid off. That set up an extra point like 19 yard field goal. The Sailors climb back into the game, now down by four. The Sentinels come right back, ball at the 42. Walker is gonna run a great route here, have a look as he creates some space and is able to bring this in. A 42-yard touchdown for the visitors. Trying to answer back, the Sailors losing by 11. Anderson would find an opening here, and he was off. They climb back again and are now down by, by four. The Sentinels, now in the fourth quarter, number 16, went to work on third down and he was able to find his man. Unfortunately, they could not capitalize on the play. The Sentinels leading 21 to 17. Anderson got the carry here and once he found the lane, he was off. A 59 yard touchdown for the home team. The Sailors now have their first lead of the half and go up by three. Late into the fourth quarter, number 16 is back to throw this time and he's gonna look for his big old tight end and it's a big game. A 45 yard play that set up a visitor's touchdown. And that's how we'll round this one out. The Sentinels edge out a win, 28 to 24. Let's take a moment to recognize the 2K Sports player of the game. Number 34 left no doubt as to why he's one of the greats. Well, he was the best player on the winning team. It's as simple as that. We'll see if he's able to keep up this high level of play in the games ahead. For my partner, Peter O'Keefe, this is Dan Stevens saying goodbye until next time.